And that's why before I wrap today, I want to take a moment to address, um, in part, the video we saw this weekend of the Deputy Prime Minister being subjected to some extremely disturbing harassment and threats. And this is not an isolated incident. Sadly, this is something we're seeing more and more of. Certainly, uh, members of this community have seen it. Uh, but we're seeing increasingly uh, people in public life, people in positions of responsibility, particularly women, uh, racialized Canadians, uh, people of uh, minority uh, or uh, different uh, community groups, uh, being targeted almost because of the increasing strength of your voices, of your positions, of the impact you're having around the world and around our country. We're seeing a backlash. And we've seen it, you know, first of all, over the past many years, anytime uh, a woman speaks up on social media, she is so often subject to harassment and toxicity that we're actually seeing um, her rights and her voice and her freedom of expression uh, diminished. We need more women and racialized Canadians and diverse communities to be strong voices in politics, in media, where we're seeing uh, reporters increasingly getting attacked for calling out hatred and indifference and, uh, and, uh, and, and discrimination. We have to ask ourselves what kind of country we are, what kind of country we want to be. La discrimination, la haine, l'intimidation de femmes, de femmes racisées, de membres de communauté. There you had Prime Minister Justin Trudeau talk about uh, the action plan that's in place for the uh, community, as well as he talked about what we've seen in the past long time, actually, but now it's become part of a greater conversation about what women are enduring when it comes to politics, when it comes to journalism, and uh, the backlash that they get, and the hate uh, you know, messages, and all of that. And Prime Minister, uh, Deputy Prime Minister Krista Freeland experienced that on one of her trips uh, just recently. And it's also brought up the bigger question of uh, why uh, there's a disparity when it comes to women experiencing some of the hate that they receive online or perhaps in person or protests compared to men. But that's also to uh, take a look to see if there is a massive disparity if, um, uh, when it comes to men versus women experiencing that. In, uh, in the realm of the public service, as well as being public officials and public personalities. And that was Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's message.